As I suspected, I forgot three trainers on Route 109. I'm just gonna finish uh, checking out the open air market here. And oh god, I'm already sick of that. So yeah, I'm gonna finish checking out the market, and after that, I'm going to go and beat up these trainers. Oh yeah, this guy here um, is going to sell. Oh yeah, sell you good stuff in secrecy. He, he sounds like he's dead. He's delving in illegal stuff. And, but anyway, that guy, once I show him a TM of secret power, he's gonna get, sell me stuff for a secret base. And yes, I know I haven't covered the secret bases yet, but that's gonna come eventually. And that woman here is talking to me about berry powder. I don't know the first thing about that, to be honest. Because, well, it uses the direct corner, and back in the pre-Wi-Fi days, it was rather difficult to find someone to play with. So, I cannot uh, tell you anything about the berry powder, I apologize for that. So yeah, I'm gonna beat up those trainers that I left out there on Route 109, and they're hidden be behind, uh, or rather, under parasols, sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it really makes no sense uh, from a perspective point of view that they would be hiding under there, because my character is seeing them, but I don't, so... Uh, it doesn't really make much sense, but I'll let it slide because, well, uh, Nintendo logic, what can I say? But moving on, Serebii published today the, the English names of uh, all the items and characters that are new to Hard Gold and Soul Silver, and much to my surprise, well, I wasn't surprised that they changed Lance's name, well, the, the Rocket Executive, that is, because there was already a character named Lance, but they also changed the names of the other three Rocket Executives, and I'm rather surprised that they did that, because, well, of course everyone's name changes between versions, because usually everyone's name in the Japanese version is a Japanese name, but Landa, Athena, and Apollo, well, they could work in the English releases as well, but they changed uh, the, their names, they changed Lance to Proton, Lambda to Petrol, Athena to Ariana, and Apollo to Archer. So I'm not complaining, I'm just a bit surprised that they did it, that's all. And at least they kept the whole real-life rocket team going. Now when it comes to my Crystal LP, I did not change any of uh, the, the comments that I made in the movie descriptions or videos that involve the rocket executives. Instead, I updated the movie descriptions to mention that throughout uh, the videos and even the movie descriptions, I used the Japanese names for the Rocket Executives. And another news that Serebii has come up with regarding the North American release of uh, Hard Gold and Soul Silver is that remember when they when they removed uh, the slots from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum's European release? Well, the slots are gone from Hard Gold and Soul Silver in North America as well. Instead, they changed it to some Minesweeper type game. I don't really understand the rules, I guess. I'm going to catch on pretty quickly when I try it, though. But for the time being, I don't have a clue what it's all about. But I, I'm not really complaining because I've never been such a fan of the slots anyway. It's just that it's annoying that censorship is becoming bigger and bigger with each game. Okay, so I'm done uh, on the beach for real this time, so it's time to explore Slateport City. And I'm warning you, this place is huge. Oh yeah, the Battle Tents! Uh, there are three of them in this game. There are new additions to Emerald, and they took the place of three of the contest halls. So the only contest hall that remains is in Lily Cub. And okay, this guy here is talking about Natures. That's something I wanted to talk about real quick, Natures, because... Um, everyone knows how natures work. They take away 10% of a given stat and boost 10% of another stat. Now, the reason why there are five neutral natures is because, well, there's one for each stat. And by that I mean uh, each nature takes away 10% uh, from a given stat and boosts the exact same stat by 10%. So that's why there are five neutral natures. Not that anyone ever uses them, but unfortunately it's going to be by far the most common result whenever you're looking for a certain nature, unless you're breeding with the Everstone, but that's another thing entirely. And by the way, a random fact regarding IVs while I'm on the subject of stats 
it's that in the first two generations, the IVs were between 0 and 15, and they were multiplied by 2 afterwards. But in generations 3 and 4, they are numbers chosen at random from 0 to 31, but they're not multiplied anymore. But as a result, you can, you can have your stats reach one more point in the generations 3 and 4 than in generations 1 and 2. Of course, you can't max every stat anymore. And okay, yeah, I remember. This guy tells me that uh, I need to find Captain Stern, who is at the museum, and uh, it's to deliver him the Devon goods. Unfortunately, the museum isn't being invaded by none other than Team Aqua right now. Just wonderful. So we're going to have to beat up some Aqua grunts later on. But anyway, what I was saying before is that, for example, the highest absolute stat you could get in Generation 2 was Blissey's 713 HP. But because they changed the way uh, IVs work, nowadays you can get a Blissey with 714 HP instead. Of course, that's not uh, a major difference, but it's still an interesting random fact anyway. Oh, thanks for rubbing it in. I can't change the nickname of a Pokemon I get in a trade. That's always been the most bullshittest thing ever in Pokemon, and they still haven't fixed it after four generations. Why? Why? What gives? If I get a Pokemon with a nickname that I don't like, why can't I change it? That's BS bullshit! B-U-L-L-S-H-I-T! But moving on, I'd like to warn you right now that, um, well, I suggest that you keep an eye out for any Pokemon news on Cerebi because the big announcement could really happen any day now. Even though it's supposed to be official uh, on Sunday, things have a, have a way with Pokemon of happening earlier than they should. But the problem here is that I am going to be spending quite a lot of time in Slateport and there's even going to be some storyline progression here. So I would love to, if there's any big news that come out, I would love to go up on Route 110 and create some downtime so I can talk about those news. But there's an Aqua Blockade just north of Slateport, so I can't do anything about it just yet. Oh, this guy's a move tutor. In Emerald, there are two types of move tutors. There are uh, guys like this guy who can teach me a move once for free, and those who can uh, teach me a move an unlimited amount of times for some battle points, but they're over at the battle frontier. And, oh, she wants an interview, huh? Well, let's see what I can actually say. How many words do I get? Because I got an idea of something I wanted to do. Oh yeah! Four words! So I am going to show you a little suggestion that uh, Repto gave to me uh, the last time I did such a thing. And uh, yeah, it's one that I really should have thought of last time, but uh, I didn't for whatever reason. And it's Drink my tasty Liquidoos. Okay, Liquidoos is right there. So, I'm gonna watch TV at some point later in the game, and I will be hearing those words. Drink my tasty Liquidoos. Yeah, and this game is E-rated. The TVs inside the game say obscenities if you say obscenities to the game. Wow! Anyway, what I wanted to say earlier is that if there are news that come up before I get out of Slateport, I won't be able to cover them right now, but if something comes up in the next few days, don't worry, once I get out of Slateport, I guarantee I will cover it. Anyway, this guy is talking about how there is only one contest hall in Lily Cove for all four ranks, whereas uh, there used to be, uh, I think it was the super rank, uh, Contest Hall in Slateport in Ruby and Sapphire, but it's not there anymore. All of the ranks are done at Lily Cove now. Oh, she's the one who gives you something for uh, maxing out your happiness. I said in the last video that you got the Effort Ribbon for that, but no, the Effort Ribbon is for max EVs. So, okay, this is the Name Raider's house, but I'm going to talk to this guy in the next video. See ya.